Jamie and I am a nursing student with Pima and I'm going to be demonstrating a newborn physical assessment. First, I'm going to ensure that it's done as soon as possible after birth and I'll make sure that the room temperature is warm or use a heated table. I'll also want to ensure good lighting and that the infant is calm and I'll want to start from the least invasive and then move to the most invasive. Okay, so first I'm going to start at the hair area and the head, looking at the shape and looking at the fontanelles, at the anterior fontanelle, um, making sure that it's shaped like an almond, soft and flat, and then also the posterior fontanelle, also that it is soft and flat. I'll want to look at the face for symmetry, examine the ears and ensure that the eyes are in line with the ears. I'll also want to check the nose, check the nares, make sure that both of the airways are patent and I'll do that by closing one nostril and allowing the baby to breathe and then also closing the other nostril and checking that they are both patent. I'll also want to check the mouth and the lips for any um, blueness or cyanosis. I'll also want to check the gums and the mouth. Also checking the soft palate to make sure that it is intact in the roof of the mouth. And also at this time, I can also check the um, the sucking reflex. I'll also check for the tongue and that its color is appropriate and that it is moist. I'll also at this time check the rooting reflex to ensure that the baby turns towards the stimulus. Okay, stop. I'm then going to check the chest, checking the clavicle bone to ensure there's no inconsistency or any pain that the baby may be experiencing. I'm gonna be checking for symmetry of the chest. And I'm also going to check for the respiratory effort. I'll be listening to the lung sounds. And I'll want to ensure that I listen for a full minute. I'll also look at the baby's breathing effort by looking at the belly. I'll then move on to the abdominal gastrointestinal area and I'll be looking at the stomach for shape. I'll also listen to bowel sounds. I'll also inspect the umbilical cord and the number of vessels. I'll be looking for any redness or drainage. I'll also check the stool for color, character, and consistency. Genital area, check the diaper for voiding, the urethra, or any testicles. I'll also check the anus and the rectum. I'm going to check that baby has five fingers and five toes, that the legs are equal, and I'm also going to check the folds on each of the baby's legs and arms. Then I'm also going to check the femoral pulses, which should also be equal. I'm also going to check the hip placement and ensure there's no cracking or any sounds being made as I move the hips. I'm going to start um, checking the baby's reflexes. I'm going to start with the moral reflex, which I will hold the baby's arms up and ensure that they retract. I'm then going to check the neck and see that it has good range of motion. Also check the arms and ensure that there is good range of motion there as well as the legs.
good range of motion here. I'm also going to check the motion graph and ensure that the baby is grabbing my finger, as well as look at the grab reflex on the toes. I'll then um, turn the baby over and check the spine, the tone of the skin, the sutural folds. I'll also want to make sure that the diaper is clean and dry. I'll also want to ensure and record the baby's weight, the length, the head circumference, the chest circumference, and the abdominal circumference. I've already taken um, a portion of the vital signs, which was the heart rate and the respiration. I'll also want to ensure that the baby's temperature was taken. I'll also want to ensure the general appearance of the baby that with color, there is no pallor or cyanosis, that the baby's cry is active and normal, that the tone of the skin is also um, intact and normal. Also, um, I'll ensure and record that the ABGAR score is taken at one minute and again at five minutes. For my skin assessment, I'll want to check um, the pigmentation, any looking for any lesions. I'll also want to check the nails. Um, I'll also be looking for anything that's abnormal. And I'll also check the cap refill on the chest and ensure that it is less than three seconds. Also check the baby's maturity. And then that will conclude my assessment. I'll make sure that the baby has a clean, dry diaper on. And I'll also want to ensure that the baby is comfortable and I will wrap the baby back up.